Welcome back folks. Um, so the next color that we're going to do is going to be aqua out of the can. Uh, so just uh, aqua, nothing mixed here. Um, I am using the Kafka number three. I don't know if I mentioned that on the last video. So the Kafka scroller number three. And here we're just gonna do some kind of overlayering uh, situations. So I'm just trying to think of how it should go. So with this style, you get kind of uh, these tier big, big kind of feather uh, shapes that uh, overlap things, and just it kind of gives you another corner or another anchor for more design work. basically just another jump off point for you to continue off of. Now these things don't always have to go right along with the original design. Uh, these can just kind of get dropped off anywhere. Uh, but obviously if you're, if you're thinking about the flow it's kind of going this angle so you, you kind of want to stick with the flow. If you can help it over so you can see what I'm doing. A couple of random wheat designs there. I'm going to put some of these on this side. So just for quick and easy access, I'm just going to turn it around that way. I'm not trying to rotate my body. So I think what we'll do is we'll put them in here somewhere. make these skinny, you can make them fat. I prefer to make them kind of pretty wide. That way they cover up more of the surface area. Now they're kind of teardrop shaped, but as you can see I start off skinny. Maybe flatten that end. And the opposite end kind of goes wide, almost like a feather. do another one here to finish it off. Now from here I think I'm just going to bust out a couple of scrolls going the opposite way. Something like this. how that would look. Uh, 
And maybe we'll get a nice long one in here, kind of sticking out. So we'll start off like so. Push down. You can always kind of fake them and make them backwards as well. Uh, I know that's really not the way to do them, but there's a million ways to skin a cat, which is a horrible saying. Because I have a cat and I love him. He's a good cat. So it's starting to take shape and uh, you know, it's it, these these designs get really busy. I, I understand that some people, you know, they say, "Well, that design got a little too busy there." So, well, uh, that's sort of the idea with these. They're a little different. Um, I learned by watching the guys out in Arizona, and California, do this stuff. So I, you know, I'm just kind of mimicking what they do. I just really fell in love with the with the whole concept of this uh, type of scroll, so I kind of jumped on the bandwagon. So we're kind of uh, missing a little green here, a little aqua. So what I'll do is just kind of throw in a loop on top there. Something like that. Hell, we could do two of them. It wouldn't hurt nothing. Maybe throw a couple of these wheats coming out. Now if you're going to be drawing a thin line out of this with this brush, uh, you don't want to have it as loaded as, say, when you go to do one of these. So you want to have maybe 20% that amount of paint on here. So let's just uh, pull one out of here. So push down and let it fly. And we'll do another one. Push down way earlier. And let it get thin. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Maybe I'll add one more here. Let's give it that third. Get rid of them little bubbles. And it's nice and flowy. 
pretty good coverage uh, as far as the uh, aqua goes and we'll just move on to the next color that'll be in the next video